Welcome to Code Freedom. I'm your host, Eddie Bales. Have you ever felt stuck? Have you ever felt like there's got to be more to life than the reality that you see every day? Tune in weekly, Tuesdays, Thursdays, and Saturdays as we crack the codes to freedom in every area of your life. Welcome to Code Freedom. I'm your host, Eddie Bales. This is episode 45. And today I want to do something slightly different. I just want to tell you uh, just a couple of stories. I, I did a training for uh, our team and our organization that we're blessed to be a part of. And, uh, you know, th- this organization collectively has been paid over $400 million, has had as many as 300,000 team members on it, uh, and has in ranges from, you know, 119 people who've earned anywhere from 50,000 all the way up to a million in a 12 month period of time, and thousands and thousands who've made just an extra 500 to a thousand dollars part time, spare time, uh, monthly, right? And so, I was blessed to, to, to kind of do a little bit of a training for that organization. And, and, and I was going to sh- share with you guys, uh, that audio, but, but, uh, you know, there's a lot of terms and, and things that I use that was specifically for the team that you guys may not understand. But I thought I should just share some of those experiences uh, with you that I went through. And so so I'm just going to tell just tell a couple of stories because I, I believe that, um, you know, a setback is a setup for a comeback. Right. And I believe that, uh, you know, you guys have heard me talk about this before. But if you look at the stock market over 100 years it looks like it's going straight up and to the right. But if you come close to it, then you see the peaks and valleys. And, uh, you know, trouble doesn't last always. Joy comes in the morning. There's never been a double night, right? And so your your valley season is not forever, but neither is your peak season. And so understanding that, you know, we're going to go through hard times, especially when we're on this journey for freedom, you're going to go through it all. The ups and downs, the seasons, right? The four seasons. You'll have winter seasons, you'll have spring, you'll have summer, you'll have fall. And by the way, one day we'll go over those seasons and I'll share with you how to navigate through those seasons. I think it's important once you know how to get through those seasons of life. But Today, I just kind of want to talk about a little bit of the journey. And so I'll never forget, I was I was trying to qualify for a particular position with the company. And, you know, it, it was taking me a little longer than I wanted it to. Uh, and so, uh, you know, was going for it, going for it, going for it. And I, I'll never forget, I had one of my cars break down. And so, you know, I, I paid a small amount of money to get another car and it wasn't the greatest car. It, it wasn't, but I mean, it was just for help me get where I need to go until the next, until the real, the the, the best car, the better car, if that makes sense. So, um, long story short, I'm driving home from work at this point, living in New York, and the car starts smoking, right? And so I pull over, and you know, so just to background information. For those of you who live in in the north, you know what I'm talking about. We had this thing called an inspection sticker, and and you had to basically keep your car inspected over a certain period of time. And if if there were things wrong with the car, then you couldn't get the new inspection sticker. And and if you didn't get the new inspection sticker, you can get fined. You can get tickets. They could even take the car if they wanted to, uh, because you got to just keep that. You got to keep the car up to date in terms of tires and. Uh, a bunch of other checks and things like that. Now, for y'all in the South, y'all don't got to worry about that. <laughs> but in the North, you know exactly what I'm talking about. And so long story short, the car starts smoking. I'm on the highway. I pull over. You know, the fire truck comes. The police come. And I had an appointment, right? So all I could think about is getting to that appointment, right? But I had to deal with this situation. <laughs> and so, uh, but the other thing I was thinking about is, I can't let this officer see my inspection sticker or they could they could find me. They could take the car. They could do whatever. Right. And and put it in a pound. And so I'm I'm literally like talking to the officer, but trying to hide the inspection sticker. So I'm standing in front of it and um, I'm like, hey, officer, everything's good. The fire truck's here. Um, we're going to get this thing taken care of and towed and we're going to be up, off, off and on our way. Right. And so I'm hiding an inspection sticker. I'm trying to get the police to go away. Um, they finally went, and I got a tow truck to, to tow it back to uh, the house I was staying at at the time. 
And, you know, I was able to get a friend of mine to come pick me up and take me to my appointment. And it's so interesting because that was the main thing I was worried about is I had to get to my appointment because, look, I, it was showtime. Like, I'm in business. I'm ready to make things happen. I got to make it make it do what it do, right? And, uh, you know, I was going through that setback, but see, like I said, setbacks are nothing more than a setup for a comeback. You know, what's interesting is I, I kept pushing and pushing and pushing, and it, it would even get to a point where I would uh, set up appointments at this particular coffee house and then invite my organization and my team to bring people with to that place. And, and we would turn a small meeting into a bigger meeting, and we would get a lot of compass in those meetings. We would get a lot of things done. And a lot of business to start to, to happen. And, you know, long story short, I was blessed to hit that position and, and then end up getting a new car uh, as a result of hitting that position and, and just really plowing my way through. And so why do I tell you that story? And that's a story amongst many stories that I could tell you. But I'm just telling you that story because I'll never forget what it was like. You know, I would walk to that coffee house and then set up things for the organization to come and we all support each other. Um, and, and when that situation was happening, it seemed like the worst thing in the world. And it seemed like, you know, I could have easily just kind of threw my hands up and say, man, listen, this is, this, this is just not for me. Right. Or this is not my time. It's just not meant for me for it to, for, for it to happen for me. But I didn't, right. I, I, I chose to take a different route. And, and if you're going to achieve this journey, on this journey of freedom, if you're going to achieve this, then you're going to have a lot of setbacks. You're going to have a lot of valley seasons where it seems like things are just not happening for you. Yes, you have peak seasons too. But again, just keep in mind, those peak seasons won't last forever and neither will the valley seasons. So just get through the, get through the valley seasons. But when you're in the peak season, prepare for the valley season. Those are, that's the biggest thing I can share with you is – you know, kind of like the ants. The ants think winter when it's summer and they think summer when it's winter, right? And so, um, you know, you've heard me say that before, but uh, you got to fully embrace that, fully embrace it. So when you're going through it, it doesn't seem fun. It doesn't seem like you, you almost forget those things while you're going through it, but you got to remember it because that's what's going to carry you through, through the tough times, through the hard times, through all the things that you, the, the journey that you're looking to get through. So, I just wanted to share this, guys, with you. I hope you guys got some value from it. And there's a whole lot more I'm going to share. I'm really excited because uh, we have a special guest interview coming up real soon. And so you, you guys are really going to enjoy that. So just keep staying tuned to these episodes. You keep showing up. We'll keep bringing the value for you. I appreciate you guys. Thanks for all that you do. And we'll see you all over the top. Take care. Thanks for tuning in. Appreciate you guys for listening. Um, definitely feel free to take a screenshot of this episode. Tag me in it on Instagram uh, or Facebook or wherever you find me on social media. I would love to give you a shout out. Hey, you might even get a prize. Who knows? But uh, excited that you had a chance to take a listen. I hope you got a lot of value. And uh, definitely feel free to uh, give us five stars as well as a review. Uh, show us some love and we appreciate you. God bless you all and see you all over the top.